what is up y'all it is your girl christian danielle and welcome back so in today's video i am going to be showing you guys how to make these here tape in extensions i am going to be showing you guys how to make the so-called traditional tape in extensions and i'm also going to be showing you guys how to make the invisible tape in extensions with products that you probably already have at home so you can go from this to this to this nice beautiful luscious locks for the low <laughs> let's go okay so in order to know where we're going we have to know where we're starting and as you can see here i have a sew-in actually already i have a partial sew-in that i sewed on the bottom these are just my braids from the Kendrick concert. I just left the braids in and I put the sew in at the bottom. And I did do it this way because it's going to be a lot easier for me to manage my tapes with the tape only being at the top, especially with my hair texture. So now what we have to do is make the tapes. So you're gonna need a flat iron. You're gonna need some scissors. And of course, you're gonna need some hair extension tape. I did buy this tape from Amazon. The pack comes with 180 pieces, so I will make sure that I put the link down in the description box. And for the hair, I am using the Yummy Hair Extensions. I have the Yummy Hair sewn in the back for my partial sew-in, and then I'm going to be using the Yummy for my wefted tape-in extensions. So this is the hair right here comes with a lot of hair on the weft which is what I love and there's all these little strips because I had previously sewn this hair in and took it out two days later because it was too hot but we're trying again so that's why I have these little pieces but this hair is actually brand new now to create my invisible tape ins I am going to be using this closure now this closure is not from the yummy hair company this is just a random closure that i had found in one of my hair boxes which was perfect because it actually matched the same color of the hair so that's what we're going to be using to make our invisible tape ins and then i also have this other little piece this was a piece of a frontal that i found so we're going to use this as well Okay, so now you're gonna turn on your flat iron. As you can see, my light is green, so it's on. And you can't see right here, but the temperature that I have it set at is 250 degrees. Then I'm gonna grab one of my strips of hair. And one of the best things about the yummy hair is that the wefts, even though it has a lot of hair on the weft, the weft itself is very thin. As you can see, I'm folding it, bending it, twisting it. Your weft should be able to move, bend, and twist just like that so whatever hair that you use make sure that the weft is extremely thin because that's going to work in your favor for a flatter look now what you see me doing is measuring the hair against the extension tape strip so I'm just making sure that the extension tape is long enough to fit on the strip of hair and it is it's actually a perfect fit so then I'm just gonna grab my scissors and I'm going to cut the little strip of tape off. They're already pre-cut, so you just follow the line. Now, the reason that I cut my tape strips because I found that it makes for an easier application when applying the tape to the hair. Because after watching several YouTube videos, I noticed that the girls were using tweezers to remove the tape from the backing, but it's easier when you just cut it because therefore you can pull the tab down, boom, just like that, and your hand gets nowhere near the tacky side of the tape, which a lot of girls were accidentally touching the tape because they were using the tweezers, but this way you won't. So let me show you. So just take the hair, and at no point will your finger touch the tacky side of the tape. You'll just lay it down and press. And I do it this way because you wanna avoid touching the tacky side because the more you touch it, the less tacky it will be, therefore making it slip right off of the hair. Now, once you have the extension tape lined up where you want it, you're just going to press the tape into the hair, pressing firmly to get it to stick to the hair. 
Then I'm gonna take that wax strip that I just removed from the sticky side and then place it back down across the strip of the tape. Then I'm gonna take my flat iron and I am going to fuse the tape onto the hair for about 10 to 15 seconds. And if you need to apply the heat twice, by all means apply the heat twice, especially because how you see me doing it, I am putting my tape on the weft. Most people apply the tape below the weft, but because I'm putting it on the weft, it may require double heat to make sure it stays. And so y'all don't have to rewind the video. I am going to show you guys and demonstrate one more time. So here I'm just making sure that the hair is the right size, cutting off any excess. Then I'm gonna cut my strip. I'm gonna fold the tab of the strip back right around my finger. Then we're gonna apply our strip to our weft. Then once the tape's on, press firmly in place with your finger. Then taking the wax strip that you removed from the sticky side, place it back on to the top of the strip. Grab your flat iron and sear the tape into the weft for 10 to 15 seconds. Then just taking the scissors and rounding off the sides to match the tape. Then you'll repeat the process for the remaining strips of hair. I'm just gonna speed the video up for you. It's gonna take a second, so make sure you got your movie going, your music going, or you watching a YouTube video or something, okay? Now we're gonna move on to our frontal and we are going to prepare the frontal so that we can make those invisible tapes. As you can see on this closure, it already has a part down the middle. So what I'm gonna do is just take my comb and extend the part all the way to the end so that way I can cut it in half and not cut any of the hairs. And then I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut right down the middle. And boom, we have two parts, two pieces, two sides. Then we're gonna move the end of the closure. That is just the thicker piece that runs along the side of it. So then you're gonna part and separate the hair right along the edge. And then you're gonna take your scissors and cut the edge piece right off. and no hair around here goes to waste. So later on, you can add some tape to this if you need some extra hair, but for now, I'm just gonna set this to the side. Now we're officially ready to make our invisible tape ends. So we're gonna start with a tape strip, just like we did before. We're gonna pull the tab back, wrap it down our finger, and then you're gonna apply the tape on the lace as closest to the top without going over. And once you get the tape right in place, then you're gonna take your thumb and you're gonna press firmly into the lace. And it should look like that. Then you're gonna flip the hair over and you're gonna use the tape as a ruler to part your hair. So you're just basically gonna part your hair right below the tape strip. Then once all the hair is parted and out of the way, you're gonna take some scissors and cut right down the middle and you should have a strip that looks like this. Then from here, you're gonna follow all of the same steps that we did when we made our webs. And this is what it looks like. It looks like hair that's growing straight out of the scalp. And same deal as before, you're just gonna repeat all of the steps until you have all of your strips. 
again it's gonna take a second so uh have your movies your music or your youtube videos pulled up and ready to go And now I'm moving on to my little frontal piece. I just took the edge off just like I did it with the closure and I'm gonna add my tape and cut this thing up the same exact way as we did in all the previous steps. And remember what I said, we don't waste no hair around here. So I'm going to take my end piece and I'm going to add some strips, some tape strips to the end piece. And I'm going to cut this up and make them some tape ends as well. Oh, hey girl, we got some tape ins. I see you. So this is all the tape ins that we made along the way. Here we have our wefted tape ins. This is what it looks like with the tape and this is what the other side looks like, just a weft. And then our first invisible tape in on our lace. And this is what it looks like once you turn it over perfect for blending your hair right on in and as you can see each tape has a different level of density which is perfect for blending your hair and getting that very 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 natural look so now all we have left to do is install these tape ends so what are we waiting for let's get to installing so as you can see i removed my braids and now i just have my hair out i just blow dried it real quick and as you can see it is not long enough to cover my tracks below which is why we're going to be taping our hair in now this is actually long for me about four or five months ago i did do sort of what you call the big chop i don't say it's the big chop because I only cut my hair about an inch so I cut my hair right where you see my hand I cut my hair all the way around to about an inch all the way around my head and as you can see my hair is grown to about double that length in the last four to five months but I did cut it and I just didn't cut all of it off because I wanted to at least be able to braid my hair because it was summertime and I did not want to rely solely on wigs. I didn't want to wear wigs all the time. I wanted to braid my hair. So that's why I only did one inch all the way around. But it's coming back. So now we got to work with it as is. So the first thing we have to do is we have to straighten our roots. So I'm going to be taking this hot comb and I'm going to do just that. This is actually a plug-in just for anybody who is curious. <laughs> and I'm gonna take this, like I said, and I am going to just straighten out our roots, get them a little straight because you can blow dry your hair, but it won't always get all the way to the end. And plus I have 4C hair, so it's a little thick at the root. Okay, so now what you see me doing is just sectioning off my hair, just some little tiny pieces, cause I'm gonna section off my hair where I'm going to apply my tapes first.
Then I'm just gonna take a hair tie and tie the hair off away from the section that I'm gonna be working with. So we're just gonna start on this side here. And I just wanna show you, see if my hair was just a little bit longer, we would be able to use it to cover, but because it's so short, we don't wanna fight with the wind. So we are going to add these tapes. So I'm just going to section this hair off here cause I wanna leave a lot of hair around my perimeter out. So I'm just gonna take a clip and clip that out of the way. And then this part here is where I'm going to apply my tape. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna take my comb and part my part yet again because you will see you don't need a whole lot of hair to apply your tape to. So now I'm just gonna grab the bottom piece and I'm gonna flip it over to add my tape. So I'm gonna be starting with my wefted tape in. I'm gonna apply the wefted tape in to the bottom. I'm gonna start by removing the tabs and as you're removing the tab, if the tape starts to lift as you're removing the tab, that's how you know during the heat process you didn't put enough heat. But mine are fine. So now I am going to lay the track right on the edge of my hair. I'm not going to place it directly close to the scalp. You wanna place it so that the track will flip easily without hurting or feeling like it's pulling on your hair or your head. And as you can blatantly see, there's not a lot of strands of hair that are required to hold the tape in in. So I'm just gonna part off and remove any loose hairs from the tape and only leave the hairs that are attached to the tape. And you see the ease of the flipping. It flips perfectly over with no tension on my hair or my scalp. And now we're gonna move on to the sandwiching and we are going to take an invisible tape in and we are going to place it on the top of the tape in that we just put in. So again, we're gonna remove the tabs. And this is what it looks like. And that's what it looks like, more transparent. And like I said, we're gonna take that tape in and we're gonna place it right on top, sandwiching our natural hair in between the two tapes. And once we've laid it on and got it right where we want it, then we're gonna press it with our fingers and flip it to make sure there's no tension when flipping. And you see what it looks like? It's perfect. It blends with your scalp. It blends with your hair. It makes it look like a seamless transition. And all you need is a little bit of hair to cover that particular part. And it looks like your hair is growing right out of your scalp. Now y'all, you know they have actual pliers for tape in. Well, we not using those today. I did not feel like going to the beauty supply, so we using what we got. These are actually some pliers that I had previously purchased from the beauty supply, and these are actually for the keratin beads, but we using these on our tape ins today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pliers and I am going to squeeze both the top and the bottom to kind of infuse or fuse together the two tapes into one. And when I was watching YouTube videos, I noticed that some people use heat to fuse the tape and others use pliers. I'm not gonna use the heat, I'm only going to use the pliers. But to each its own, if you wanna use heat, go ahead and use heat. Now this is what it looks like now that I worked my way to the top. And all I have to do now is straighten my real hair and flip it over. And as you can see, it's super seamless. And this is what it looks like after I straightened it out just a little bit and blended it in with my comb. Perfect, looks so good. We don't see any of the tape. And I'm gonna flip it over and show you how I taped it. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, the invisible tape ends fall the natural way that your hair does which is why I like the natural tape ends and the flexibility and movability of them.
and just the way that it falls and moves and stuff is definitely the way your natural hair would fall and move y'all i think tape ins are my new favorite thing And then now we're just going to chop and screw that thing so that we can make it look even more natural. We're gonna add some layers, especially to the top where the shorter pieces are. And you know, we just added a whole bunch of hair, so of course it's already uneven. So we're just gonna even that out all the way around. And now that we've gotten our hair cut and chopped the way that we like it, but knowing me, later on I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do some more cutting. But for now, we're just gonna pin our hair out of the way and we're gonna start styling our hair. I'm going to be curling my hair today with my flat iron as I always do. So I'm just going to curl this up and add some curls all the way around. And boom, there you have it. We got our curls in. Now we're just gonna run our fingers through the hair just to break up the curls just a little bit. And we are ready to go. Look at it. Falls perfectly, blends perfectly looks perfect I'm gonna do a spin around so you can see no tracks are showing anywhere we did that y'all we did that you're just gonna do a one and a two and a ooh <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I hope this video helped you out. Bye.